Hi guys, welcome to Paul's DIY. Uh, I did say that the uh, next video would be a room tour, but with the return of The Walking Dead, I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to get my uh, Michonne and her walkers uh, bus bank customs up on my channel. Uh, getting a lot faster with the editing and process at the moment, really impressed with myself and with the increased speed of the internet I can get the, my videos up within an, within an hour which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, I, I did lose a lot of footage uh, in the confusion of the move and everything. Uh, basically I pressed delete on, on my camera by accident. But um, in this, in this uh, video there's not so much the sculpting uh, element that's the footage I've lost, but you've got all the painting elements in this um, in this video. Whereas in the last uh, bus bank uh, custom video I did, you got saw most of all the um, sculpting and not so much the painting. I did get a request saying, you know, can you show me you painting the actual uh, custom figures? So luckily I didn't I didn't manage to delete that footage. So yeah, guys, this is um, the Michonne and her Walkers custom bus bank uh, figurines sit back relax and enjoy the video okay guys so unfortunately i'm still using the internal uh, microphone for the, for the moment so i'm going to buy a new one but uh, try and filter out the noise of uh, the background noise as best i can so i'm using doing this uh, usual process glue this uh, two of the sticks in and apply the tin foil to build up the legs So once I've built up the legs with the tin foil, I then went ahead and cut strips of clay and applied it to the tin foil and uh, molded in the strip, molded the strips together uh, to give the correct thickness of the leg. And then once I was happy with the thickness of the legs and the, uh, the outcome of the uh, shape, I then went in and scrubbed it away and shaped uh, the kneecaps on the legs. So yeah, I'm using milli putts for the uh, feet and as you can see I've just placed a cut behind because uh, even though I've, I've glued the wooden uh, sticks onto the bottom, uh, it, the figure wasn't standing up straight, so I've leaned it against the cup uh, to try and make it straight. And then I'm applying the uh, milliput, and as you know, milliput once it dries, it's rock hard, and this will give it a, a, a very stable uh, base for the figure to stand on.
So that's the sculpting on done now on um, Sean's boots. All made out of leather foot and it's made the leg rock hard and made the figure um, stable. I've then gone in with clay just above the, you know, the, the boot just to blend it in with the rest of the leg. And I'm just going to go in with a bit more clay to make the uh, sides of the boots and then I'm going to be using a small thin cable tie uh, that I'm going to cut up and glue into place for the laces. Okay, we're well, moving on to Sean's two walkers, uh, the protector. Um, so, again, using the same way that I did with Sean's legs, using the two part epoxy glue, uh, mix it together and apply it to the uh, bottom of the wooden pegs. And the two okay, guys, that's the uh, legs and feet now glued on using the two part epoxy glue. <coughs> Unfortunately, I've uh, not set them fully straight. And that's on both of them. So now I'm going to wrap the tin foil around, and I'll be able to pack out the bottom of the heels so that it'll stand up straight. Okay, guys. So here I'm going to apply the milli cut onto the base of the legs, and instead of um, just getting the rough shape of the foot for this zombie and uh, for the other one, I'm actually going to use the milli cut and sculpt the entire uh, foot out of milli cut uh, because. Uh, as, as we know, Millie Cup hardens rock solid and I'm going to be cutting the toes out. So once it's uh, uh, the Millie Cup dry, the toes will be solid as well. And here you can see the feet uh, carved out of the Millie Cup. And one of the main reasons I use the Millie Cup instead of clay is one, obviously, Millie Cup is harder, but two, yeah, it's a zombie so it's going to look rough so I didn't pay much attention to smoothness or anything like that. I wanted it to look jaggy, I wanted the toes to be all bent and out of shape and the actual shape of the foot not to be uh, perfect. I wanted it to be all mangled and uh, I think the outcome was really good. And then you can see uh, the foot of the shown and as I said I used uh, cable ties, thin cable ties. Uh, cut them into shape, bend them into shape, and just using um, super glue, glue them into place. Okay, guys, so this was the reference photo I was going off uh, when it comes to sculpting Sean's legs, and the socks, the boots, as well as the zombie's legs, the creases, and uh, the sort of crumpled up, deformed uh, toes. And this was the outcome after the sculpting was finished. And to be honest, I think it's come out really well. And I've got it as close to the comic actually as possible and I think once it's painted it'll look fantastic. So let's get painting.